welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, today's video is a hermit crab video. So I have been reading your guys' comments and I have been seeing that you guys are really enjoying my little daily routine type videos where I basically pick one animal and I kind of just show you my daily routine with them or my every other day routine or whatever the pattern is for that particular animal. I figured since you guys were enjoying this, I would do the hermit crabs today. This video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to show you guys, obviously, their little routine. I'm going to spray them down. We need to give them new food and water as well, so I'll show you that. Obviously, they're probably going to be buried because my hermit crabs do bury during the day and they typically come out and eat and soak at night and that's very normal for my crabs. So the first part of my video is going to be their little daily routine so you guys can see how I basically care for them on the daily. So the second part of this video is actually going to be me just addressing a few little things and also doing something I've never done before which I'm pretty excited about. I've seen lots of comments and criticisms and rumors lately and obviously none of that stuff bothers me but I do want to kind of disprove that here in this video for you guys so that my viewers know that I do believe my hermit crabs are healthy and while I am completely open to criticism and it actually doesn't bother me at all I know from experience that the hermit crab community is intense if you do something differently than I do or if I do something differently than the Facebook hermit crab group you are definitely going to receive a lot of criticism I have seen comments and rumors that my hermit crabs don't have health the eye stalks or that they maybe have eye problems or that they're missing the hairs on their legs probably obviously it's an assumption I've also had people tell me that I'm slowly killing my hermit crabs because they disagree with my care which is rather remarkable I'm slowly killing these incredibly sensitive creatures that I've had for almost 10 years honestly it's amazing I've never seen anything like that before <laughs> I did want to address a few things in this video so that there is clarity for my hermit crab lovers who watch my videos and who do follow my care for their animals. I thought what better way to show you guys that my crabs are doing really well and that I believe that I'm taking the best care of them that I possibly can then show them to you guys up close and personal. I thought that today I would take my new macro lens. You guys know I just got this a few weeks ago. This is a macro lens and I have the 20 times macro lens piece on there. So I thought that I would strap this on my phone today and I thought that I would give you guys the most up close and personal view of my hermit crabs you have ever seen. We are gonna be all up in his shell. I'm probably gonna be doing it to Gunner. I've seen him out a lot lately. I haven't seen SpongeBob. I do think he's buried in the back somewhere and obviously never dig up your hermit crabs so because I don't want to stress my crabs out and I don't handle my crabs ever I don't recommend handling your crabs but I do want to do this for this video and I'm really excited about it I hope you guys enjoy all right guys so here's my hermit crab tank I haven't refreshed their water I haven't given them new food I haven't given them new water anything so we're gonna be doing all of that we're also gonna be misting them down and we're also gonna be shuffling around the substrate just a little bit making sure that it's all moist you can see over here it's a lot more moist from this part over and then over here by the food bowl it's a bit drier so we're just gonna make sure all of it's moist all the way throughout you can see there's a lot of moisture over here in the substrate and on the glass and stuff which is really good but we want to miss down the whole thing obviously like I do daily so here is their salt water bowl you can see they've been in it they've kind of made a mess so we are going to basically be filling this up and cleaning this out we also have their water dish here you can see they've been in it they've kind of got it messy so we do need to clean this up and get them some fresh water so I have this we're also gonna clean out their food bowl but I'm out of hand so I will be right back <laughs> All right, we're gonna give them some fresh dechlorinated water. All right, so now we're gonna give them some salt water. Now, I know a lot of people hate the bottled salt water. Um, I actually have always used the bottled salt water, but I'm actually out right now. So this water that's in here is not actually bottled salt water. I actually mix this water myself using my aquarium salt, and that's totally fine for hermit crabs. You can do either. You can use bottled or you can use aquarium salt, mix it yourself, so you have a little more control of the salinity, which is nice. So that's what I did, but I am reusing the bottle that my salt water came in because, hello, recycle. So that's what we're gonna be giving them now. All right, we're gonna fill up their salt water deep so they can submerge. There we go. All right, so for their raw veggies, I'm gonna put some romaine lettuce, some bell pepper, and a little piece of strawberry in here, and then the rest I'll probably give to Koa. All right, so now that we've done that, we're just gonna give them one piece of each 
And then I'm gonna give the rest to Koa since they're not gonna eat all of this, I know. And that's all I'm gonna do for their raw veggies today. I do have some freeze dried veggies we're also gonna put in here and the rest of their food. There is their finished food dish. So we're just gonna put it back in here in the corner and they can have at that whenever they like. I also make sure that they always have some cuddle bone. They love cuddle bone and it's really good for them. This is all they have left of their big piece, so I'll have to get them another piece. So I just put their cuddle bone in their food bowl and they can chew on that as they want. They really like it. And the last thing we need to do is mist down their enclosure really, really well. Just make sure to make sure all the substrate is really good and moist. Sometimes I'll take the substrate and I'll kind of run my fingers through it and mix it around. That's really good too if you feel that it's drying out. And that is it. That is my daily hermit crab routine. Just making sure they have clean food and water that they can dip and soak in, giving them plenty of shells and making sure that they're all kind of cleaned out and upturned. I watch their shells a lot too to see which ones they're playing with and pecking with. I missed down the entire enclosure and made sure all the substrate was really moist and they also have new food. That is pretty much it. Also, I wanted to show anyone that's worried. Um, my substrate is really deep in the back. It's four inches in the front because of the door. But anyone who is curious, this is a wooden ruler and I'm putting it at the bottom here. And you can see that my substrate is right at six inches. I can't really go back further, but you can see my substrate is six inches. That's about as close up as I can get of it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And the last thing that I wanted to clear up and give some clarity to very briefly is actually the square inches of floor space that my enclosure has. My hermit crabs used to be in a 20 gallon long, which is 360 square inches. And a 20 gallon long is actually the exact same square inches as a 29 gallon. That's a really big misconception. A 29 gallon is technically the exact same floor space as a 20 gallon long. A 29 gallon, while having the same square inches as a 20 gallon long, is just taller. That is how it is 29 gallons. My enclosure is a 24 by 18 and it comes in at 432 square inches. So now that you guys have seen me feed and water and mist my hermit crabs, now it's time for the second part. We are going to be using my lens, like I said. We are going to be doing a super up close and personal look at my hermit crab to make sure that he is completely healthy. Gunner is going to be the crab that I'm using. He is one of my two hermit crabs that I have, but like I said, sponge Bob is buried right now, so we're not going to bother him. I'm pretty excited about this. I hope that you guys enjoy. So here is Gunner. I just have him sitting on my chair. I will have had Gunner 10 years, um, the end of this year. So uh, late 2019, early 2020, I will have had him and um, SpongeBob for 10 years. And I don't know how old they are actually, obviously they're older than that, but that's just how long I've had them. So you can see um, he has a very healthy exoskeleton. He's got hairs, <laughs> they're all there. His eye stalks look good to me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show him up close. I don't like touching my crabs and I never take my crabs out, but I felt like showing him. My hermit crabs have been thriving and healthy and molting for nine years now. End of this year will be 10 years. So we're gonna be using the macro lens today to look at the hermit crab up close. I'm gonna get as close as I possibly can and show him to you guys. So here is the macro lens, as close as I can possibly get. I'm sorry the quality isn't better, but this is done on my iPhone, so this is as good as it's going to get. You can see Gunner's eyes there. You can see his legs and his joints and the little hairs on his legs there. It really is awesome to see up this close. Honestly, it's crazy. This is the other side of his legs and his biggest claw. You can see all the little follicles, all of the, oh my goodness, there's his eyes again. So you can see his eyes and his eye stalks look good. And then I'm giving you an up close look at his joints where his claws and legs meet his body. And his little feelers, you guys can see all of that up close. It's honestly so cool to see him up this close. I've never done this before. Um, definitely love this macro lens and I hope that everyone feels confident that my hermit crabs appear to be healthy. Their eyes look good. They have all their little hairs. They're molting great and 
I just hope that you guys really enjoyed this footage because it was a lot of fun to film. I love this. SpongeBob and Gunner are purple painter crabs, so you can see they're very purple, very pretty, but they are very healthy as you just saw. So yeah, I'm gonna go on and put him back now, but I just wanted to show you guys. So as you can see, I think my hermit crabs are doing really good. He looked really healthy. That is the closest I've ever looked at my hermit crabs or seen them up close. It's so cool. And it's really nice to see his eyes and his legs and all his little hairs and everything and that he's completely healthy. Obviously, a quick disclaimer before we go, I do not encourage anyone to go out and buy hermit crabs. I don't encourage people owning hermit crabs. I say this in every single hermit crab video. However, I will always make hermit crab care videos for as long as I have them because I do want to give you guys proper care that I believe will help you and your hermit crabs to have a long, healthy life together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.